beautiful. Me too, Dizzy. I can't wait to see them flying around their new home. Hi, team. Hi, Hi Jenny. Jenny. I see you made a good start on my butterfly house yesterday, Bob. Thanks. Yes, we'll have everything ready for the butterflies by the end of the day. <gasps> This afternoon, Dizzy. But they won't look like butterflies. They'll still be pupae. Look, a butterfly starts as a tiny egg which turns into a caterpillar. The caterpillar builds a house around itself called a cocoon. Then it becomes a pupa and when it pushes out of its cocoon is a beautiful butterfly. Oh, you do know a lot about butterflies, Dizzy. They're my favourite insect. I'd love a butterfly to land on me, but one never has. Well, maybe that will change once we've got the butterfly house finished. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Ooh, what are you doing, Jenny? I'm fixing up these rods and then I'm going to glue the pupae to them. That way they can't fall to the ground and get damaged before the butterflies hatch. Ooh, I can't wait! Woo! Careful, Dizzy! Whoa! Oh, sorry, Wendy! <laughs> you really are excited about these butterflies, Dizzy. Yes, I really am! <gasps> Will they hatch today, Jenny? I'm not sure, Dizzy. But you can always come back and see them when they have hatched. Whoopee! Yay! Oh, 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 sorry, Bob. <sighs> Thanks, you two. See you later. Lofty and Tooton have finished here, so I've sent them back to the yard. Thanks. It's looking good. We've all worked really hard. Especially me! Whoops! <laughs> Whoops. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Dizzy. Did you know butterflies love to drink orange juice, Wendy? Well, any fruit juice, really. It's their favourite food after the nectar they get from flowers. Wow, you could be the zoo's new butterfly expert, Dizzy. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Jenny. <laughs> Don't worry, Dizzy. Bob, the pupae have arrived early. So I need to get them in the butterfly house as quickly as possible. Then I need to get the heating system up and running. Butterflies like it nice and warm and damp, don't they, Jenny? That's right, Dizzy. All year round, not just in the summer. Right. I'll go and fit the double sliding doors to the entrance. So can I go and get the pupae, Bob? Yep, no problem. Great. It's so exciting! <laughs> Don't worry about me getting in the way. I'll be as still as a statue. See? Count how long I can stay still for, Wendy. One, oh. two, oh. three. Oh, I just can't do it! Oh, dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> That's the first pupa safe and ready to hatch. Oh, brilliant! Oh, butterflies are so amazing. Some of them have got eyes on the underneath of their wings. Well, not actual eyes, but they look like eyes. Oh, and I love how their wings are totally the same on both sides. Colour, pattern... <gasps> um... What's wrong, Dizzy? Uh, um, I just bumped into one of these posts, Bob. I got too excited. <laughs> well, it didn't fall down, so no harm done. I think I'd better go outside for a bit. Oh, OK. Don't worry, Dizzy. I'll come and find you as soon as I've set all the pupae out. <gasps> Thanks, Jenny! <laughs> come on, Dizzy! You can calm down! <gasps> I'll count again, but this time I will get past three. <gasps> One... 
On. How are you getting on with the pupae, Jenny? Just finished, Wendy. Oh. oh, no. What? I think I've just glued myself to this post by mistake. Really? Don't worry, Jenny. There you go. You'd caught your sleeve, that's all. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dizzy will want to see the pupae, won't she? Oh, yes. I'll go and find her. Seventeen. 18, 19. Oh, hi, Wendy. Hi, Dizzy. <gasps> Dizzy, don't move or say a thing. Understand? No. Well, just really, really quietly say okay, okay? Okay. A butterfly has landed on your mixing drum. <gasps> oh, that's so. Shh. Stay still. If it flies off, we may never see it again. Oh, Bob, they're starting to hatch. Already? Then we got them in here just in time. I'll go and get Wendy and Dizzy. They won't want to miss this. Jenny, thank goodness. Look. <gasps> That's a Menelaus blue morpho. It's one of my butterflies. How did it... It hatched in Dizzy's drum. Can you catch it and get it inside? I don't have a net. And anyway, it could fly away any moment. Dizzy, it's up to you to save my butterfly. Can you drive very slowly and carefully back inside? I'll try, but what if I do not see that scary? Dizzy, we can't hear a word you're saying. I said, what if I'm too noisy and scare it? We'll just have to hope it doesn't fly off. I really believe you can do this, Dizzy. Me too. Just pretend the butterfly isn't there. OK. Come on, Dizzy. Slow and steady. You can do it, Dizzy. This is absolutely amazing. Whoa. Look, Dizzy. Yes, Bob, but one hatched in my drum! Really? <laughs> really? Dizzy was amazing. She saved the butterfly. Thank you, Dizzy. I'm so proud of you. And of my beautiful new butterfly house. Oh, it was nothing, Jenny. Oh, well, I'd better go and get these butterflies some fruit. And while you do that, we'd better finish everything off. Butterfly to land on me, just one. Then it's your lucky day. Huh? There isn't just one on you. There are dozens. Really? Where? I can't see them. But where are they?
It's this where the Christmas party's going to be, Bob. Is it? Is it? Yes, Lofty. Mr. Bentley said he would meet us here. Ah, oh, Bob, there you are at last. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I think the party centerpiece should go right here, don't you? Great idea. We'll build the giant sleigh in no time, Mr. Bentley. Wonderful. I love Christmas Eve. Oh, and of course, there's all the extra bits to do as well. Did he say extra bits? Uh-oh. And so, we need to arrange the snow scene, the tree, and put up all these lights. I ordered hundreds. This will be the best Christmas party Fixum has ever had, all the way along the seafront as far as the galleon. That's all going to take some time to put up. But, but... It's Christmas, Wendy. We'll make sure Fixum gets its Christmas party, Mr. Bentley. And it will be the best ever. Thank you, Bob. OK, team. Let's get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. The sleigh looks great, Bob. But what colour will it be? Well, I was going to paint it red. Oh, and gold. Huh? Yes, can it be red and gold? Uh, <laughs> of course. You really do love Christmas, don't you, Mr Bentley? Yes, ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of having the best possible Christmas party. Now, we need more snow and more lights. Wow! Mr Bentley is so excited. <laughs> he is. But then who isn't? Uh-oh. Mr Bentley's coming. Oh, no. Do you think he'll want to change things again? Oh, Leo! Uh, ho, 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 Mr Bentley! Excellent Christmas spirit, Leo. Now, how about stringing lights from these candy canes right up to the galleon's mast. Uh, we could do that, but we've hung so many already. Don't worry, we've got plenty more. Oh, thanks, Muck. We can use that pretend snow to hide these cables, Muck. OK, Wendy. Like this. Perfect, thanks, Muck. Now to put up the lights on the galleon. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, Leo, I didn't realise you were doing the galleon too. You can't have all the fun, you know. <sighs> Mr Bentley wants more and more lights put up. He really loves Christmas. <laughs> I know. Hmm. The tree, the sleigh and all of these hanging lights, they're going to use a lot of electricity. And if we connect too many strings of lights together, we might lose power. Then we would end up with no lights at all. Uh, yeah. OK, Wendy. I think we need to leave these out. But we can still make this party as bright and festive as possible. Now for the gold stripe. Mark! Mark! Yes? I think we need some more snow around the sleigh. It needs to look more wintry. Uh, OK. So where shall I put it, Mr Bentley? Uh, I think there. There? Uh, no, here. Oh, here or here. Eh? Uh, I, I think there. There? No, no, in between there. Uh, here, there. Oh, whoa! Ah! Ah! Sorry, Bob. Phew, that was close. Perhaps we have enough snow around the sleigh, Mr Bentley. We don't want it to look like it's stuck in a drift. No, but we do need it to look like the North Pole, Bob, because that's where Santa comes from. <laughs> OK. Ah, splendid painting, Bob. But stop! Ah! I think that can go next to the tree, Muck. OK, Mr Bentley. Oh, dear, Bob, did he make a mistake? 
I can help if you like. I'm a dab hand with a paintbrush, even if I say so myself. No, no, Mr Bentley. Thank you, but I'll finish it. All part of the job. Goodness, the party is due to start soon. Uh, but there's still time left to make it even more spectacular. Oh, this will look superb, Wendy. Thanks, Mr Bentley. I hope so. I just need to fix the power cable below deck and we're ready. Good show. Hmm. <gasps> My favourite extra long string of snowflake lights. We can't leave those out. <laughs> oh, Leo! We finished, Mr Bentley. It's almost perfect. What? But... But? But... Could we hang one more string of lights? It's the last one. I promise. Well, I guess one more won't do any harm. Pass them up, Lofty. Right out. Oh, it's so magical, Bob. So Christmassy. Thanks, Muck. Glad you like it. I said we'd get it finished, Mr Bentley. Well done, Bob. The lights are all up, Mr Bentley. Excellent. Now, I just need to test them before the party starts. There's nothing worse than having the odd bulb that doesn't work. Oh, where have those snowflake lights gone? <gasps> oh, no! Ah, Wendy's finished too. Now I can test the lights. Wait, Mr Bentley, there are too many lights! Ah. Ah. Oh. That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Oh, we've connected too many lights and overloaded the power supply. But the party's just about to start. You can fix it. Can't you, Wendy? I'm really sorry, Mr Bentley, but there's no way I'll be able to get the power back on in time. But how will we see the song sheets, uh, unwrap presents and get Christmassy in the dark? Oh! 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 Uh, uh, Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Mr Bentley! Are you all right? Ouch! Oh, no. The party's ruined. And it's all my fault for wanting it to be too grand. Oh, I was really looking forward to it. Me too. Ah, right now, I'd settle for any kind of party rather than none at all. You know, that might be possible. I know somewhere that's smaller but has its own electricity generator in case of a power cut. We could move the party there. Oh, yes, please, Bob. Anything is better than nothing. Right, team. We need to move fast. Yes, yes Bob. Bob. Would you do the honours, Mayor Madison? Certainly, Bob. And can I say that this is going to be a brilliant party? <laughs> Presents for everyone! Mince pie, Bob? You deserve it for saving Fixum's Christmas. Mmm, thanks, Chef Tatty. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You know what, Bob? I think we should have Fixum's Christmas party at the yard every year. You do? Absolutely. 
And I've got some great ideas to make it even better. How about a giant Christmas carousel with 100 dancing elves pirouetting around the edge and a mechanical flying sleigh zooming above with a tall helter-skelter snow slope perfect for sledging? You could build that. Uh, um, no. Again. Right, team. What's fast, fun, and totally wild? Ooh, ooh, I knew. Is it Scoop? Hey! Close, Lofty, but no. It's a roller coaster. <gasps> and this one is known as the Dino Coaster. Oh, Whoa! Cool. Today, we'll be finishing work on the ride, ready for the start of the summer holidays tomorrow. We're going to be adding the very first climb. When the carriages reach the top, they will plunge down this steep dip here and then whiz along these twisty tracks. Woohoo! Is it like this, Bob? You've got it, Dizzy. Just like that. Right, team. Let's unload. Morning, builders. Good morning, Anish. Everyone. You remember Professor Bose? Yes, he's a dinosaur hunter. Not quite lofty. I'm an archaeologist. No. I dig up things that have been buried underground for hundreds or even thousands of years, including the remains of dinosaurs. <gasps> What's in the box? <gasps> Is it a dinosaur? Not exactly, Dizzy. It's a new exhibit for the summer holidays. I'm just off to install it in a special dino hut. I wonder what's in that box. OK, team, let's get moving. Finish that fast, Leo. Oh, I can't wait to ride this dino coaster. I'm gonna go on it at least 20 times. And I'll be right behind you. What about you, Bob? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm happy just to watch you guys having fun. What's the matter, Bob? Don't you like roller coasters? They just make me a little dizzy. Besides, I get enough thrills and spills working with you lot. <laughs> Roller coasters, Bob. I've been on dozens. The twisty tornado, the loopy loop de loop, the sudden drop. That sounds, uh, loads of fun. Ooh. Look, the footprints go this way. Careful, Dizzy. Oh, you're not a baby at all. No, he's a huge dinosaur. Hey, guys. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, it's you, Scoop. Phew. I said, what are you doing? We're tracking a baby dinosaur. A baby dinosaur? Can I play? I could dig a little trap to catch it. 
Now, Lofty, you pretend you're the dino daddy and call for your baby. Righto. Moo. Ugh. Hello, guys. What are you... Whoa! Uh, sorry, Professor Boos. Uh, that was meant to catch a... Pretend dinosaur. Uh, we're tracking a pretend dinosaur. Well, if you like dinosaurs, you're going to love the new exhibit. Oh, yay! I can't imagine what it is. Here's a hint. It has something to do with a Gigantosaurus, one of the biggest dinosaurs to walk the Earth. Bye! Bye, Professor. Hello. This means that egg belonged to... Uh, hang on. What egg? A Gigantosaurus! <gasps> when that baby dinosaur grows up, it'll be as big as a building. I said, what egg? We must find that baby. Hey! I thought we were playing a game! What egg? There. This motor will work the chain that pulls the cars to the top of the first climb. Great. Then it's time for a test run. Who'd like a go? Yes! Bob, pick me! Pick me! Ah, oh, Leo. All right. Be my guest. Yes! Let's go, Wendy. Fast as possible, please. Three, two, one, blast off! Woohoo! I can see a yacht from here! This is so much fun! Oh no! The dinosaur's got Leo! Lucky, wait! That's not! Oh. <sighs> a dinosaur! Going to derail. Wendy, hit the emergency brake. Whoa! Phew. Are you all right, Leo? I thought the dinosaur. Had... <laughs> that was way more thrilling than the twisty tornado. Oh, I've made such a mess of things. Set a baby dinosaur on the loose. Ruin the roller coaster. Hang on, Lofty. What do you mean, baby dinosaur? Where do I start? Maybe at the part where you lost the dinosaur egg. This egg? <gasps> it's not broken. I found it fallen behind a shrub. I accidentally knocked it out of the nest. I thought it hatched. That's impossible. It's not a real dinosaur egg, Lofty. It's just a replica. One of the three I have made to show what they would have looked like. But, but we saw a footprint the stripy tail. Really? So could this be what you saw? Pilchard? Oh. I would love to have met a real dinosaur, though. Yeah. That would have been amazing. Well, it's getting late, everyone, and our dino coaster is in pieces. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Have a ride on the dino coaster, Wendy. I'll go and check out that dinosaur egg display. <laughs> oh, come on, Bob. Give the dino coaster a try. After all, you did build it.
exciting. Hmm. <laughs> well, Bob, what did you think? It looks like my eyes were closed. We'd better have another go. <laughs> Bob, can I have a go next? Here we are, Spring City Stadium. What a brilliant place to play sports. Yeah, I love sports. Mainly because I always win. Really, Scoop? What was the last thing you won? Well, there's... Um, can't remember at the moment. Bob, what are these over here? That's the terracing that people will sit on to watch the sports. Lofty's going to put them in place with a little help from a big friend. Isn't that right, Tiny? That's right. Looking forward to working with you, partner. Uh, looking forward to working with you too, uh, partner. I love it when I get to work with Tiny. Well, you're going to need all of Tiny's help because those look so heavy. They won't be a problem. Look. Oh. Oh. Ah, see? Easy. It didn't sound easy. You all right, Lofty? Me? Yeah, of course. I'm fine. Oh, look, what's Wendy doing? Oh. Ooh. What are you doing, Wendy? This is where you and I will be digging a channel and laying a drainage pipe. It's going to go all the way around the edge of the stadium. That is a lot of pipe. Yes, but I'll have finished my job before you finish yours. I'll be the winner. Yes! It's work, Scoop, not a sport. We all work as a team, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right, Bob. Sorry. Is this where I'll be placing the seating sections, Bob? That's right. Tooton delivers them outside. Tiny passes them over to you. Another section coming in, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. And you put them in place like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Lofty. Yeah. You know, these sections aren't that heavy. Hmm. OK. Watch out below. Here comes another. That pile's really building up now, Lofty. Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, don't worry about me, Tiny. Great. We need to speed up if we're going to finish the job today. OK. Keep them coming. Fast as you like. <laughs> Finished digging the channel. I can't chat, Scoop. Yes, Wendy says I've done a great job. <sighs> Good for you. Are you falling behind with all that seating? No. Why would I be? Are those things too heavy for you? No, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> See? Light as a feather. La -dee da -dee da. <laughs> OK, see ya! Huh? No. Hey, Wendy, good timing. Do you have a battery? This one's flat. Hmm, I might have. Ew. <sighs> oh, hi, Lofty. Hey, uh, don't mind if I, um... Uh, no, no problem. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Huh? <gasps> <clears throat> uh -huh. One battery pack. 
There you go, Bob. Thanks, Wendy. Wendy, is it OK if I put this down now? Oh, yes, sure thing. Thanks, Lofty. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. You and it. Everything OK, Lofty? Tiny's not pushing you too hard, is he? Who oh, no. I'm fine. Um, thank you, Bob. <laughs> Great. Because when we finish these, the next level is going to be much harder to put in place. Eh? Huh? I mean, ha-ha! No problem. Great, thanks. Oh. There we go. The drainage system's nearly finished. Great! Looks like we're going to win. Although it's not a sport. Where shall I put this last lot of pipes? Just somewhere safe, please. Um... Excuse me, Scoop. Oh, hi, Lofty. I'm looking for a safe place to put these pipes. Scoop? Maybe here is best. What was that? Uh, nothing, Scoop, but you're in my way. Oh, sorry. You only had to say. Ah, I know where they'll be safe. Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. OK, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go. This place looks nice and safe. Ah, a little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Uh, not sure. Uh, an aeroplane? OK. Lower your winch now. right oh, Bob. I can't hold it. Lofty, are you all right? No, Bob. I can't move at all. What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it. But I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. <sighs> no, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me. And then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny, but maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, Two-Ton. Time for some tower power. Steady, Tiny. Whew! Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> Hello down there! Whee! OK. Here goes. How exciting. Yeah! One crane for delivery to Curtis. Ready to go, Lofty? Ready to go. Drive on, Tutan. While you're gone, would you like me to put in some sections for you? Oh, uh, yes, please, Tiny. That would be a big help. That was so exciting! Lofty wins at being the bravest. How about I lift you over two scoop? Then you could get some new pipes. Oh, uh, thanks, Tiny, but uh, I've got something else important to do, so I'll uh, stay down here for now. All oh, right. <laughs>
that's the final piece. Well done, Lofty. I could never have done it without your help, Tiny. No problem, partner. Oh, I can't believe we got it all done in time. There should be a crowd of people cheering for us. Looks like I finished first after all, Scoop. I think that makes me the winner. Yeah, OK, Lofty, but it's not a sport, remember? Tell him, Bob. Well done, Scoop. Just a bit more. No prob, Bob. There, all done. Great. Give me a hand with this, please, Leo. Sure thing, Bob. <sighs> Hi, May. May, Bob says we're building you a radio telescope. But a telescope is something that you look through. How can it be a radio as well? A radio telescope isn't one you look through, Scoop. It's a special type of telescope that receives faint signals from outer space and turns them into pictures and sounds. Ooh, so will we be able to hear alien music or watch alien TV? I don't think so, Scoop. No. Oh. Hi, Bob. Leo. Hi, Scoop. Bye, Hi, Susan. Hold it there. Pull away. I've got a lovely mix for you today. Very smooth. Ooh. There you go, Bob. See you later. Thanks, Tutan. OK. Once we've levelled this concrete, it can set overnight. We'll come back in the morning and install the radio telescope. That's fantastic! Thanks, Bob. Night, guys. Night, Night Leo. Leo. Is everything ready for tomorrow, Bob? It sounds so exciting. A radio telescope. May says it turns space signals into pictures and sounds. Pictures and sounds of what? Maybe space aliens. Or, or space robots. Night, night, guys. Or giant space alien robots dancing to space alien music. <laughs> Is the telescope here yet? Is it? I can't wait to lift it. Then we'll see the dancing giant space alien robots. Yeah! Well, we might see some things, Goop. Oh. What? What? Tell me! You'll have to ask May. Why, what is it? What is it? Tell me! Please! Uh-huh. Here we are. Wow. Right. Tutan, where's the important bit? The one shaped like a big bow. Don't worry. I'm going to get it in a moment, Lofty. Oh, I can't wait. Hey! Hey! Ah, thanks, Lofty. May! May! What will we see and hear from the radio telescope? Well, Scoob. Usually, it finds signals from very far away in space. But tonight, I'm going to receive a special signal from my twin sister, Lynn. Lynn Moon is an astronaut. Wow! That is amazing. And today's our birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday! Thank you. Lynn's on board the World Space Station, circling high above the Earth. Mission Control has told Lynn I'll be trying to make contact so we can wish each other a happy birthday. May, do you think I could speak to Lynn? I'd love to speak to an astronaut. Of course, Lofty. No problem at all. <gasps> this is literally the greatest day of my life. OK, team, let's get going. Yay! So May's sister is in a space station somewhere up there. I can't wait. I've got so many questions to ask her. Like, has she met any space alien robots? Oh, oops. Careful, Scoop. Sorry. The radio telescope is very delicate, guys. It can be easily damaged. So please take extra care around it. Yes, okay, Wendy. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
sexy, dancing, giant space alien robots, Lofty. They might even visit us. What? Come here? All the way from outer space. That is awesome. OK. Oh. Let's start assembling the telescope. Pass me the first panel, please, Lofty. Righto. Slowly. Gently. It's going to be a really big dish. Bigger than any TV satellite dish. Yeah, not too close, Scoop. A huge, mungus dish. You're getting too close to the dish, Scoop. Am I too close? Am I really? Just a little bit, Scoop. Oh, no problem, Bob. Only joking, Lofty. Oh. There. I've connected the cable, so as soon as the dish is installed, you'll have full control of it. Thanks, Wendy. Ready, Lofty? I think so, Bob. I'm just a little bit scared of breaking the dish. You'll be fine if you take it slowly, Lofty. Right. Oh, I'm going to get it wrong, Bob. No, you're not, Lofty. You're doing brilliantly. That's it. OK. Lower it down now. That's right. Keep going. Well done, Lofty. You did it. Phew. Nothing went wrong. Now I need to power up from the observatory and check the remote control works. <gasps> you mustn't sit there, girl. The radio telescope is very delicate and can easily be damaged. Oh, there is a good seagull. Come on, hop over onto my jib. The power's on. Let's try moving the telescope. Come to Lofty. Oh, whoa! Oh, no! Wah! Uh oh Lofty, what happened? Oh, Bob. Girl was sitting on the dish, so I tried to get him to move. Uh oh Oh, dear, oh, dear. How's it looking, Bob? <sighs> Not good. The hydraulics are completely jammed, and that means the telescope won't move. And it's stuck in the wrong position. Now I won't be able to speak to Lynn. Oh, me, I'm sorry. I thought Girl might damage the telescope. Is there a way to get the hydraulics to work again, Bob? I don't know until I've checked what's broken. To start with, I'd have to disconnect them, but then the dish would just flop to one side. And I wouldn't be able to move it by remote control at all. Maybe you don't need to. What if I move the dish with my gem? That's a great idea. I think I can make it work. Remember, Lofty, once the dish is in position, you'll still need to follow the space station as it travels across the sky. I can do it, May. Gently, Lofty. Left a bit. Higher a bit. A little more. That's perfect. Hold it there. Good. Is the space station overhead yet? There it is, Scoop. <sighs> follow it, Lofty. Right to. Station. This is May Moon. Lynn, can you hear me? May, you did it! I can see you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you too! This is so cool! Oh no! I can't see Lynn! Lofty, Lynn, meet Lofty. He's 
keeping us connected, and he's been looking forward to speaking to an astronaut all day. Hello, Lofty. What would you like to know about being an astronaut? Um, oh, um... Oh, I've got a very important question for Lynn. What is it, Scoop? What do dancing giant space alien robots actually look like? Plants look like they're from an alien planet! That's the idea, Scoop. Everything here has to look like it's from outer space. Ooh, I love outer space. Me too! It's amazing! And the restaurant looks just like a spaceship. That is awesome. Wendy! Oh! Hello, Chef Tatty. Hello! It's all going to plan. Your new outer space waiting area will be built there at the bottom of the restaurant. So my customers have somewhere fun to wait before they go up to eat. And it'll all be ready for dinner time this evening. Thanks, Wendy. I can't wait. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, cool. Look at those stars. Ooh. What are they for, Bob? Well, because we know how much you all love outer space, <laughs> we thought we'd have some fun today. How exciting! Fantastic! So, every time you do a good piece of work, you'll get a star. Anyone who fills their column with stars will win their very own outer space star badge. Awesome! I so want one of those. Ooh. So, can we? Uh... Guys, huh? I want the stars. Stars are the best. I love stars. Stars are the best. I love stars. <laughs> I knew I'd get the most stars! You and I have the same number of stars. And anyway, we haven't finished yet. How many have I got? Wow! Look at all your stars! Oh, is that all I've got? Yes, well, I've been brilliant and done loads of jobs. Scooped up rocks, helped Wendy with her tools. I only got to clear away the rocks, and it took ages. Oh, but I really want an outer space star badge. Don't worry, Muck. There's lots of work to do. You can still earn stars like us. Well, not exactly like us. You won't ever get quite as many as me. Yes, I will. You'll see. I'll earn so many stars, Bob will need two charts. OK. That's the border for the path in place. And no, Gull, you can't have my sandwiches. Hey, Wendy, I'm here. So you are, Muck. And what exactly are you here to do? Um. Oh, no. There's nothing for me to clear. How can I earn a star? Wendy, the new path slabs are ready. And I've put them right where you need them. Thank you, Lofty. That's a very clever idea. Ooh, I can feel another star coming! Another one? That's right. There we go. Yes, yes, yes! Lofty is the best! Oh, Gull. Lofty always has clever ideas. I wish I was like him. Then I would get more stars. Right. Leo, can you bring the scaffold tower so we can finish the roof? Mm, the spaceship tower is orbiting the elevator and coming into land. Three, two, one, boom! Uh, Leo, did you know that your college has asked me to write a report on how you are at work? Oh, right. Scaffold tower in position. <laughs> relax, Leo, there's no need to be that serious. Huh, relax. Sure, I can do that. Whoa! 
Scaffold Tower is back in position, and this time, the brakes are on. <laughs> Leo is a joy to be around. Woohoo! OK, go. What would Lofty do to earn a star? Um, I know. I can take the alien plants over to Wendy. Brilliant! Superstar Ooh. scoop coming through. Hey. hey, Wendy, I've got the alien plants for you. Thanks, Scoop. I was going to do that. <laughs> Ooh, scoop always gets noticed. I wish I was more like him. I've got it. Maybe I can do something clever like Lofty and get noticed like Scoop. I'm going to take these rocks and make a display around the new waiting area. It will be so good. I'll get lots and lots of stars. Wendy asked me to collect these path lights. I bet I get another star. Well, I'm helping Wendy too. And I'm going to get a... a... a zillion stars. Aha! You wait. Um, Bob? Yes? You know I wired the light. Are you putting that in my college report? Yes. And what about when I screwed in the light base? Or now, when I'm attaching the actual light? Or... Leo, I'm going to write everything in the report. <gasps> Woohoo! Oh! Ouch! Everything except that. <laughs> Wendy, I've got the path light. And I'm here to help. Me too. I'm helping Wendy too. I'll hold the crate for you. I'll hold the lights for you. I'll, I'll hold Hold on, it. guys. I'm just checking the plans before I set the lights. Wendy, watch this. I'm going to make a display with the rocks. <laughs> Leo. No! <laughs> What's happened? Oh, Mark. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 That is not good. No! My restaurant! What have you done? Don't worry, Chef. We'll fix this. Now I'll never get an outer space star badge. Hello? Can somebody help us? We're trapped in here. Uh, yes! Me! <laughs> I can help! What happened? I think Muck was trying to earn more stars. Sorry. Quick team, gather round. It's almost dinner time and we've got a lot of fixing to do. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Yes, we can. Hmm. Work, I award an outer space star badge to Lofty and Scoop. Yeah! yeah! Oh. Well done, Lofty. <gasps> Brilliant. This is literally the greatest day of my life. Well done, Scoop. <gasps> yeah! My badge is bigger. Ah, uh, but mine's shinier. What? And Leo. I'm sure your college teachers are going to be very pleased with your report. Hey, I've got a star too. My badge is bigger. But mine's shinier. Oh. And now for Muck. <sighs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, but I've got lots of stars. What? Uh, how did that happen? You earned the Muck by doing what you do best. Clearing up. You mean I didn't need to be like Lofty or Scoop? No, it's fine to be just you. Oh, thanks, Bob. Wow! Excuse me, we're here for dinner. 
but we're a little early. No problem. You can wait in the new outer space waiting room. This way, please. This is so cool. Thanks, Mark. No problem. Do have a lovely evening. Wow! This is amazing! Ooh, speaking of dinner, maybe I can finally eat my sandwich. <gasps> hey! That's my sandwich! Go! Come back! So, Bob, why has Chef Tatty bought a huge apple orchard? He needs lots of apple scoop so he can turn them into pies, crumbles, sauces and jam. Oh, OK. He's away right now, searching for the best apple recipes around the world. But he'll be back soon, so we need to get started. Look, it's Flame! Hello, Flame. I didn't know you lived here. Chef Tatty has asked us to repair the barn where the apples will be stored after they've been picked. Right, team, let's get... Oh! This might be a bigger job than I thought. We can fix the gate and fence, Bob, but let's check the barn first. OK. It looks like the apples are ready to be harvested. They're already falling off the trees. Ooh. Can we store that apple, Bob? Oops. Oh, dear. When an apple falls on the ground, it can bruise, and you can't store a bruised apple muck. Or a squashed one. Sorry. I'll be really careful from now on, Wendy. Yeah, me too. And me. Oh, dear. The barn's in a real mess, Bob. Well, thankfully, the main structure's solid lofty. We can replace this rotten cladding and give the barn a new roof. Chef Tatty, hi. Wendy, I'm back in Spring City with lots of new apple recipes. My orchard looking. Oh, well, the barn needs quite a bit of work. I'm looking forward to filling it with ripe red apples. Of course, but... So, I'll see you a bit later. For an apple-picking party? <laughs> bye. Um, bye, Chef Tatty. Oh, he's on his way. We need to get working. Well, I'm always up for a challenge. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Two bits of wood in the barn. What should I do with them? They're not just pieces of wood, Scoop. They're pieces of an old apple press for making apple juice. Put them to one side for now. OK. Uh-oh. Careful, Scoop. Uh -oh. Careful, Lofty. Uh-oh. Careful, Muck. <laughs> Silly goose. Oh, no. We made it rain apples. Don't panic, guys, but try to be more careful. Chef Tatty will be upset if he doesn't have any apples left to store in the barn. I promise. Right, too. OK, Wendy. Muck, will you go and see if Leo needs any help with the fence? OK, Bob. Oh, I don't want to squash any more apples. I'll go a different way. Hello, Flame. Oh, no, Flame. Look what I did. I can't leave those lying around for Chef Tatty to see. He might get upset. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah! Yay! I did it, Flame! <laughs> oh! I'd better tell Leo about that. But first, I'll find somewhere out of the way to put these apples. Aha! They'll be nice and safe there. Hi, Leo. Sorry, 
see. But I accidentally broke a fence near Flame's Field. Oh, no problem, Muck. I'll go and fix Flame's fence if you take these bits of wood away. It's a deal. <laughs> what? But when did I knock all of those apples down? Is something wrong, Muck? Uh, no. Everything's okay, Leo. Hey, Muck! Come back! Oh, no! Not more! And I promised to be so careful. Right, that's the roof finished. Now for the timber cladding. Oh. Huh? Who's been eating those? Flame? What are you doing here? Oh, no! Flame, it's you who's been knocking down the apples! Stop! <laughs> Flame! Come back! Flame! Come back! Stop! I'd better make sure Flame stays on her side of the fence from now on. Oh, no! There are apples everywhere, and it's all my fault. Why is it your fault, Muck? Because I chased Flame, because she was eating apples, because I broke her fence, because... Because? Because... I'll show you. I thought I'd knock down all the apples, and I didn't want to upset Chef Daddy. So, I put them here. Oh, Muck, it was Flame. Once she got into the orchard, she knocked down most of them. But if you'd told us, instead of hiding the apples, we might have realised it was Flame's fault sooner. Then I'm not going to hide things anymore. I'll give these to Chef Tatty. I'm not sure he'll be able to use those, Muck. Oh, but I still want to show him. Well, he'll arrive soon, so we need to fix the damage to the barn. Hi, Hi Chef Catty. Hello, Bob. Wendy. Leo. So I see the barn's almost finished then. Uh, almost, Chef Tatty. Because these apples need to be harvested and fast. Uh, Chef Tatty. I'm afraid some of your apples got knocked down. Goodness me! That's a lot of apples. Those can't be stored, you see. Nor can the ones you've squashed. I didn't mean to squash any apples. That's it. Squashing may be the answer, Muck. Hey? But I'm going to need your help. Barn. And one apple press for making apple juice. That's a brilliant idea, Bob. But how are you going to squash the apples to get the juice? Ah, just wait and see. Now for my special job. Wow, look at that! Ooh. 
Ooh. Wow! Yummy! What do you think, Chef? Mmm! Not too sweet and not too sour. Mmm! Delicious! Perfectly pressed, Muck. Phew! So none of the apples will be wasted. Right. So who's going to help me fill my barn with ripe red apples? Me! <gasps> wow! Oops. Anyone want some more apple juice? It appeared out of nowhere, Bob. It looks like a sinkhole. Let's take a closer look. You guys stay back. This road might not be safe. A sinkhole? What's a sinkhole, Tread? It's a big hole that no one can see at first because it's hidden underneath the surface of the road. Then the road falls into it and boom! The sinkhole appears. Whoa! I can't wait to see inside it. You're right, Bob. It is a sinkhole. I wonder what caused it. Maybe last night's rainstorm had something to do with it. We won't know for sure till we've dug out all the rubble. Stretch, could you come over here, please? Carefully. Can I have a look too? Oh, no, Muck, sorry. Stay where you are, please. The ground might not be safe for a vehicle as heavy as you. Oh. OK, Bob. We need to have this road back open before the evening rush hour, Bob, or it'll get jammed full of traffic. No problem, Mr Bentley. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. What's happening, Bob? I'm going to go down inside the sinkhole to inspect it. Oh, wow. Can I watch? Oh! Not yet, Muck. It still isn't safe. Oh. But listen, I've got an important job for you. I need you to be my safety officer. Oh, wow! Brilliant! Uh, what does that mean, Bob? <laughs> I want you to stay on this side of the barrier and stop anybody from getting too close. You can trust me. Thanks, Muck. Hi, Muck. What's all this fuss about? The road's not safe, Betsy. Hmm. Oh, what's going on? Why have we stopped? Hello, Spring City Rockets. There's a sinkhole in the road. A sinkhole? Wow. Can we see? Yeah. Can we watch Bob fix it? No. Nope. Sorry. I am the safety officer, and you have to stay back. <gasps> Hello. And what are you all doing here? Hello, Hi, Chef Hi. Hi. We're trying to get a look at the sinkhole, but Muck won't let us near it. It's not safe, that's why. Well, I'm sure Muck's right. I know. Why don't you come up to my restaurant? You'll be able to watch everything safely from the window. Oh, yes, please. Can we, Betsy? Go on, then. We'll never get to football practice on time now anyway. Yes. Yeah. I'll park up somewhere nearby. What can I cook for you today? I wish I could see the hole. I am the safety officer after all. So at least I should see why it's not safe. You're doing fine, Bob. Nice and steady, Tread. Right you are, Wendy. Can I watch what Bob's doing, please? No, Muck, I'm sorry. It's just too dangerous. You need to stay back. OK. I guess I should get back to being safety officer. What did you find down there? An old storm drain has collapsed. Oh, that rain last night must have been too much for it. Let's go back to the yard with Tread and get some replacement drainage pipe. Is it OK for me to look at the sinkhole now? Not yet, Muck. I want you to keep an eye on safety while Wendy and I go back to the yard. OK, Bob. I'll call Lofty and Rowley and tell them to make their way here. That's not very good. I need to get closer. No! Ah! I'm sorry. 
Mr. Bentley, but you can't come any closer. It's not safe. But I need to take a photo of the sinkhole to share online with the people of Spring City so they can see why the road is closed. Oh, well, the rockets are watching from up in my restaurant. You can have a great view from up there, Mr. Bentley. Why don't you come up and join us? What a good idea. Oh, thank you, Chef Tatty. Fabulous. What can I cook for you today? Oh, I wish I could see in that hole too. I can't believe it. How can a hole appear from out of nowhere? It's amazing. I know. It's a good job nobody fell in. Loftus, Rolly, stay where you are, please. What? Bob has made me the safety officer. And it's not safe to come any closer. It's OK, Mook. Wendy called Lofty and Rolly here to help fix the hole. Ooh. That's right. What's the sinkhole like, Stretch? Is it really deep? It is the biggest I've ever seen. That is amazing. Can we see? Can we see? No, Lofty. I can't let anyone through. Ooh, I can almost see him from here. There, we're all ready to go. If we get the road finished by rush hour, we'll still have time to clear up all these leaves from last night's rainstorm. Yes, good thinking. Come on, Tread, let's go. Sure thing, Bob. I hope it doesn't rain again tonight. I don't like getting wet. And I don't like thunder. Uh, Merc, are you moving closer to that hole? No. Uh, what was that you were saying about thunder? I said I don't like it very much. Merc, you just moved back. When? Just then. No, I didn't. There, you did it again. I thought you said this road wasn't safe for big vehicles like you and me. It's all right, Lofty. I'm the safety officer, so I know what's safe. What? Oh, it's just a big hole. <gasps> ah! oh, what's happening? <gasps> oh, no! Whoa! Mug, what's going on? The road is sinking. What shall I do? I'd stay very still if I were you. I don't want to be near the sinkhole anymore, Bob. I want to get out! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Don't worry, Mock. Stay calm. We'll have you out of there in no time. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> oh, goodness me! <laughs> You must stay very still, or you could topple onto your side. Help. Lofty, Anyone? attach your hook to Muck. Right here, Bob. Help! Help! I want to get out of here! Keep calm, Muck. <laughs> right, when I say three, Lofty, I want you to pull, and Muck, I want you to drive forwards, OK? OK, Bob. Yes, Bob. One, two, three! Are you OK, Mark? Yes, I am now, Wendy. Thank you. But look at the mess I've made. I am so sorry. I am a rubbish safety officer. You should have kept away from the hole, Mark. But at least we know now how weak this road really is. So you could say I gave it a safety test, then? Yes, you could say that, Mark. Hooray! We need to replace more of the drainage pipe than we first thought. It'll be rush hour soon. We haven't got much time. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
Good job, Bob. You got the road fixed and the city moving again. Ooh. And everybody in Spring City saw Mr Bentley's photo of you fixing the sinkhole. And everybody saw me being a rubbish safety officer. No, Muck. Everybody who saw the photos of you thought you were really brave. Really? Well... Well, we should get back to the yard and clear up all the leaves. Or we could do that tomorrow and go up to Chef Tatty's for a bite to eat uh. instead. And I think I'll go back to the yard and be the stay-out-of-trouble officer. <laughs> Right, team, today is the rehearsal for the Spring City Rockets ice skating show. We're going to hang lights all around the ice rink and then add special effects. But before we start work, there's something important we have to say. All together now? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Wendy! Here you go, Wendy. <gasps> They're tickets for the new Dash Lightning movie, and I'm taking you to see it tonight. Oh, thank you so much. This is the best birthday present ever, 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 ever! <laughs> <clears throat> but first, I have to get to work. Lots still to do. <laughs> Wendy is so excited. Well, she is going to be super, super excited when she gets her surprise party later. Shush. Shush. What was that? What was Nothing. see here. I just said, uh, let's get to work. Now, quick, everyone, move. Listen carefully, everyone. Wendy thinks I have another job, but I'm really going back to the yard to set up her surprise party. That's brilliant! Shush! Shush. Right. I need someone to bring Wendy back to the yard so she'll have time to enjoy the party before the movie. Ooh, ooh, I'll do it. I'll bring her back at the end of the day. Perfect. Muck, you stay and help tidy up. Leon Scoop, you help me with the party set up back at the yard. Thank you, Lofty. No problem. You can count on me, Bob. So, this is going to be the birthday cake. But, Bob, it's made of wood. Wendy can't eat that. <laughs> it's not for eating, Scoop. I'm going to jump out of it as a surprise for Wendy. Well, she'll be surprised, all right. Oh, what can I do? I want to do something for Wendy's party. Then you can go to the sheds and get the balloons. <gasps> But be careful not to... Oh, no! Burst them. We better hurry, Bob. Wendy will be here soon. Brilliant! This is all going to plan, Mac. Huh? You've got a plan? Of course I have. To load you up and tidy the site. Then as soon as Wendy finishes, we can go straight to the yard for her surprise party. Wow, lofty! You are so clever! Oh, Wendy, these lasers are great! Oh, thanks, Muck. But I really want to give the Spring City Rocket something amazing. I think I'm going to need more lights. No, 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 Wendy! You can't put up more lights. We're all ready to go. More lights, Wendy! Here you go. Thanks, Muck. Muck, what are you doing? The plan is to get Wendy to leave. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Lofty, will you unload these lights for me, please? Oh, dear. I didn't think Wendy would take this long to finish. Surprise, Wendy. Yay! Uh, Bob? I think you need to give it a bit more, um, oomph. Oomph? Yeah! Throw your arms up! Give a 
big smile. And say, surprise! Like you're really excited. OK. More oomph. I can do that. Surprise! Maybe not that much oomph. Ugh. Oh, Wendy is taking ages and ages. What are we going to do? Wow, that looks fantastic! Yay! Oh, good idea, Muck. Cheering might hurry her up. Woohoo! Brilliant, Wendy. Now let's load up and get back to the yard. Yeah! In a bit. I want to put up a backdrop to shine stars onto. Oh, no. OK. We need a new plan. <gasps> oh, I've got it! Mick, hmm? new plan. Hide the backdrop. Hey? Wendy won't find it, so I'll have to take her to get a new one back at the yard where her party is. Oh. Got it? Um, I think so. Right. Now, Muck, move back so Wendy doesn't see it. Quick, she's coming! Um, I'm sure the backdrop was here. Nope, not seen it. So, let's go back and get a new one. Back at the yard. Don't worry, Wendy. Huh? I'll help you look. No, Muck, that's not the new plan. Got it! Ah, there it is. Thanks, Muck. Lofty, can you take it over there for me? Ow. Muck? What? Oh, Wendy wasn't supposed to find it. I'll get it now. Sorry. Mm. If Wendy doesn't come soon, we won't have enough time for the party. I'll have to take her straight to the movie. Oh, oh no. But we've all worked so hard. OK, wait here. I'll go and see where she is. Let's go, Scoop. OK, Bob. OK, that's the lights for the stars all wired up. I just need to hang them so they shine onto the backdrop. Lofty, can you please lift this lighting bar into place for me? Coming. It's almost the end of the day. So here's my new, new plan to do all the jobs super quickly. Starlight's going up! Careful, Lofty! Don't worry, Wendy. It's all in place. Finally! Right, time to get back to the yard. Huh? Hi, Wendy. Oh, hey, Bob. Have you finished your other job? Huh? Bob! Watch out! Move back, everyone! No, all that work. Oh, what are the Spring City Rockets going to do? This is all my fault. I was just trying to get Wendy back to the yard. Wendy, I need to tell you something. <gasps> Lofty was supposed to... Take more care in my work. I'm sorry, Wendy, but I'll help fix it. Thank you, Lofty. I've got a new, new, new plan. If we can't get Wendy to the party, we can bring the party here. So, go on, Bob. Ask me the question. The question? Oh, Lofty, can we fix it? Yes, we can. More to come. Oh, Bob, 
That's brilliant. Thanks, Wendy, for the wonderful lights and special effects. Oh, thank you, everyone, for the best birthday ever. And well done, Spring City Rockets. Your ice skating show is going to be amazing. Yeah! Hey, Wendy, we'd better go if we're going to make the movie on time. Yes! Hang on. Where did I put the tickets? I had them earlier. Uh-oh. New, 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 new plan, everyone. Find Wendy's tickets. That's the last floor section, Bob. Excellent. Thanks, Lofty. Now, Bob, everything will be ready for tonight's party, won't it? Don't worry, Mayor Madison. It's all in hand. This is a very special charity event. We need to raise as much money as we can. What's the money for, Mayor Madison? We're raising it for polar bears, Muck. We're going to use it to help them. So why do they need help? They live in a very cold, icy place called the Arctic. But if the snow and ice there melts, they'll have no home. We want to help to stop that from happening. And that's why I want all the decorations to look snowy and icy like the Arctic. I'll be back later, Bob. I'm sure it'll all look stunning. Right, everyone, let's get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Good work, everyone. Just one more job still to do. And here's the block of ice. Ice? What's that for, Bob? You'll see. It's going to be the high point of Mayor Madison's party decorations. Thanks, Tutan. That's all right, Bob. a polar bear. Brilliant. It's really amazing, Wendy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mayor Madison's going to love it. I love it. Oh, and all my guests are going to love it too. Well done, Wendy. Would you like to see inside the pavilion now, Mayor Madison? Absolutely. Lead on, Bob. Lead on. He's beautiful, Wendy. Just like a real polar bear. But what's going to happen to him after the party? Well, he won't be here after the party. Really? Where's he going then? Back home to the Arctic? No, he's made of ice, Scoop. He'll just melt away and turn to water, <gasps> especially on a hot day like today. Oh, no. I can't let you melt. But there must be somewhere cold where you'll be safe. Let me think. Um, uh, cold ice. Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Polar Bear, I know the perfect place. You're going to love your new home. <laughs> uh. <laughs> to me, JJ, to me. Uh. I got it. <sighs> nice one, Safi. Uh. What? Look out. Oh. Wow. Where did that come from? You heard? Huh? Say hello to Mr. Polar Bear. It's amazing. Who made this scoop? And what's he doing here? Wendy made him. I thought he could stay here, on the ice, to save him from melting. But we're practising. He'll get in our way. And he might get damaged. You wouldn't want that, would you, Scoop? No, no, definitely not. Well, maybe this isn't the right place after all, Mr. Polar Bear. I'll just have to find you another home. Thank you, Bob and Wendy. It all looks marvellous. Oh, what's happened to my polar bear? Where is it? Oh. I... I... I have no idea. I know it looked real, but it can't have just walked off on its own. You, you simply have to find it before my guests arrive. Don't worry, Mayor Madison. We will. 
<sighs> I've told everyone about that bear. I don't understand. Who could have moved it? Scoop seemed to really like it. He looked very worried when I said it would melt. Hey, where is Scoop? He's vanished too. I hope he hasn't melted. Oh, no. You don't think Scoop's taken the polar bear, do you? Where would he go with it? Oh, maybe he'd take it somewhere cold where it wouldn't melt. <sighs> I think you're right, Wendy. We need to find Scoop and rescue the polar bear before it melts. OK, let's split up. We'll go this way. Good luck. Here we are, the zoo. Penguins like the cold. Maybe you could live here with the penguins, Mr Polar Bear. Oh, where are the penguins? Where's the water? Scoop, what are you doing here? Good gracious, isn't that Mayor Madison's ice sculpture? Yeah, I, I wondered whether Mr Polar Bear could live here in your nice cold penguin pool. Actually, not all penguins live in cold climates, Scoop. Not the ones we have here. And anyway, all our penguins are indoors today while I clean their pool. But couldn't I leave Mr Polar Bear here? I really think you should take him back. But if I take him back, he'll melt! I'll just have to find another cold place for him! Hang on, Mr Polar Bear. I promise I'll find somewhere nice and cold. Hmm. OK, let's try this way. Where are you? Are you around here? Hmm. This way. Scoop! 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 Where are you? Hmm. Where are you? Oh. Everywhere. We have to find Scoop before that ice sculpture melts. Wait, what's all this water here? <gasps> it must be from the melting bear. Follow that trail. Uh, which way? Uh, uh-oh. Oh, hi, Scoop! Nothing better than a nice, cool ice cream on a hot day. Ice cream? Oh, where did you get that? From Chef Taddy's milkshake bar. Huh? <gasps> yes! Stay with me, Mr Polar Bear. Chef Tatty will have a nice, cold place for you at his drive through One tatalicious tropical coconut typhoon with extra sprinkles. Thanks, Chef. Bye. See you later. Bye, Mike. Chef Tatty! Oh. Chef Tatty! Please, could you look after my ice sculpture in your freezer? The one from Mayor Madison, is it? Of course! Oh, that's brilliant! Hear that, Mr Polar Bear? You're safe at last. OK, uh, so where is it? I'll show you. <gasps> oh, no. He's gone. He's melted clean away. Aww. Hello, Scoop. Mr Polar Bear, he's... He's... All that's left of him is... A puddle. I'm so sorry, Scoop. I know how much you loved him. He was such a beautiful bear. But he was made of ice. Ice sculptures are wonderful, but eventually they melt. I suppose so. But the problem is, Mayor Madison has told all her guests about her wonderful polar bear. Oh, dear. I've ruined the mayor's special polar bear party. I feel terrible. I don't suppose Wendy could carve another one, could she? But we don't have another huge block of ice. Who says we don't? I have just what you need in my very large freezer. Oh, that's brilliant, Chef. I'll call Wendy and tell her she'll need to carve another ice sculpture. Brilliant! Oh, uh, but 
but, but, but um, th that's not... What happened to my polar bear? Um, I'm afraid it melted. So instead, I decided to make a sculpture of you, Mayor Madison. Uh, but, 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 but uh, uh, that's not... Um... Because you're a friend of the polar bear. Oh, that's right. I am. It's an inspired idea, Wendy. I love it. And this is for you, Scoop. Huh? A photo of Mr Polar Bear. Wow, thanks, Bob. Something to remember him by before he turned into a puddle. Wendy, can you make a sculpture of me next, please? Out of mud. Wow, he's so cool. So brave. So strong. Gee, thanks, guys. Uh, not you, Bob. Dash Lightning! Oh, right, yes. He is rather, uh, dashing, isn't he? Oof, looking brilliant, Bob. Thank you, Mayor Madison. Oh, you mean him again. Just checking you'll have the outdoor cinema ready for the premiere of the new Dash Lightning movie tonight. Absolutely, Mayor Madison. Super. I'll be escorting Mr Lightning to the big event myself. <laughs> See you later, Bob. See you later. How exciting. A new Dash Lightning movie premiering right here in Spring City. Zoom, boom, lightning strikes twice. <coughs> now, where did I put that wrench? <coughs> Oh, I wish I was a superhero. Wow! Kapow! Whoop, whoop. You've been saved by Super Scope! Hey? Racing into the face of danger, daring rescues, crowds, sharing my name! Scoop! Yeah! Oh. <gasps> if you really want to be a hero, you can help me get this outdoor cinema built. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Okay, team. The ticket office is still back at the yard, so Lofty Muck and I will go back to collect it. Leo, you can paint the projection booth. Sure thing, Bob. Wendy, you check the speakers. Okay, Bob. And Scoop. Yes, Bob. Be good. You got it, Bob. I'll be super good. Right. Right. A hero isn't a superhero until he's rescued someone. <gasps> Leo. Do you need rescuing? Mm, nope. I'm good, thanks, Scoop. Oh. Go! Are you stuck up there? So that's a no. Hey, stop! Huh? Stop! Stop! Yes! Finally! Here I come to save the day! Wow! Kapow! Is it a bulldozer? Is it a crane? No! It's Super Scoop! Here you go, Spring City children. No need for thanks. Just doing my job. You've been saved by... Octal Ball! Oh. Sorry. But now I must fly. Spring City needs my help. Whomp the power, whomp whomp! There. All done. <sighs> Here comes Dash Lightning, fighting for peace, justice, and... Wendy! <gasps> oh, sorry, Leo. I, I didn't see you coming. I was just reading the, um, the, um, instructions for the speakers. Huh? <laughs> Fascinating stuff. <clears throat> okay. Have you seen the other tin of paint? Uh, th the other tin's over there. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, there it is. See you later. Ah. Oh. 
Dum -da dum 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 The watchful superhero patrols the... Bus off! Go away! Aha! A citizen in distress! Woo-hoo! You've been saved by... Oh! oh. Oops! Sorry, Chef Tutty. Gotta fly! Faster than a speeding tractor! Oh! 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 oh. Lady Tibbles, come down this instant, young lady. Another rescue? This is my lucky day! Never fear! Super Scoop is here! <laughs> well, pow, whoop, whoop. You've been saved! Whoops, uh, I'll try again. Thanks, Scoop, but that won't be necessary. I'll go and get a ladder. Rescues worked properly. Maybe there'll be someone I can rescue back at the park. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, sign. <gasps> that could fall and hurt someone. Super scoop to the rescue. Be careful, scoop. <laughs> Ouch. Faster than a speeding tractor. More... Oh, no! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Ow. Stay still, Scoop. We'll get you out from under there. Oh. A superhero is supposed to be strong and brave. They shouldn't need rescuing. I'm a super zero. A true hero doesn't need super strength or bravery, Scoop. A true hero thinks before they act. Thanks, Wendy. How come you know so much about superheroes? Well, I, um... No. Phew. Hello? Oh, hi, Mayor Madison. Hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'm on the way to the premiere with Mr Lightning. See you soon. Oh, dear, this is unfortunate. Oh, dear. How can we possibly fix this screen in time? Hmm. Oh, maybe we could use the billboard as a screen. That's a super idea, Scoop. Right, team? Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Again, Mayor Madison. Bob, we have a problem. Philip is stuck, so now Dash Lightning can't make it to the premiere. Oh! They're blocked in at some roadworks. Oh, it seems someone knocked over a warning sign. Uh, Bob, can I go and help? Can I? Can I? Well, if you think you Brilliant! can. Wait, Scoop! Huh? Just remember that a true hero thinks before they act. Thanks, Wendy. Here comes Super Scoop! Hmm. Barrier. Hole. Stranded movie star. Got it! Hop in, Mr. Lightning! Wow! A ride in a genuine backhoe loader? How could I resist? <laughs> oh, th 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 thank you. Just watch my hair. I've, I've, I've just had it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Now this is how to make an entrance in style. Wow! Wow! Woo -woo! You've been saved by Super, 
I wonder what our names would be. <laughs> How about Spark Girl? Yeah! Here he comes to nail crime. It's the Atomic Hammer. So awesome. Gee, thanks, Scoop. Not you, Bob. Dash Lightning! Oh. Um. Thanks, Lofty. That's it, team. If we all work together, we'll finish building the gingerbread house and have plenty of time to enjoy Christmas Eve. Rocking out to Christmas carols. Wrapping presents. And stacking them neatly under the tree. Oh, oh, and hunting for chocolate eggs. That's a different holiday, Mark. Oh, yeah. And, of course, giving each other handmade Christmas cards, Wendy. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. I've still got the one you made for me last year. A snowboarding elf. Brilliant. What's an elf, Bob? Elves make toys, decorate Christmas trees, and help with the delivery of presents. Ooh. Tell me more. Well, they also wear little green pointy hats. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> like this. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> yeah, that's better like that. And what else? Uh, they talk in high-pitched voices. <laughs> You've got it, Muck. <laughs> Look at me! I'm a Christmas elf! You can't be an elf, Muck. Elves are tiny and nimble and you're a great big dump truck. Yes, I can, Lofty. I'm Muck the Elf. I'm going to help make this the best Christmas ever! Absolutely, Mr Bentley. The gingerbread house will be ready in time for your Christmas choir concert this evening, I promise. Music to my ears, Bob. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Best be off. My choir needs me. We must practice putting more jingle in our bells. The jingle bells, jingle bells, <laughs> jingle all the way. See you later, Mr. Bentley. Okay, team. We can't disappoint Mr. B. Can we build? A gingerbread house! Yes, yes we, we can! can. Christmas Elf reporting for duty. Need a hand with the gingerbread house, Wendy? <laughs> no, thank you, Muck. We're OK here. Oh. Need any elf help with the snowman, Leo? Not right now. I'm good, thanks, Muck. Oh. But how am I supposed to be a Christmas Elf if no-one needs my help? Oh. Oh. I know. If elves make toys, then I'll make toys too. But, Merc, you need nimble little elf hands to make toys. Suffy! Hey, Suffy! Don't mind Muck Saffy. He thinks he's a Christmas elf. Would you like me to make you a go-kart? Oh, yes, please! This is going to be the best toy ever! Right, I'll need the mainframe. Mm. <gasps> yeah! Wheels? Uh... Aha! Almost finished! Merry Christmas, Seppy! Oh. Uh, thanks, Mac. But I think I'll stick to my scooter after all. Oh, okay. 
Monk, Ooh. have you seen my box of decorations? And my trolley. <gasps> Monk! I was trying to make a go-kart. Maybe I'm not a toy-making elf after all. Let's take a break. And Monk? Yes, Bob? Clean this up, please. Oh. What you doing, Wendy? Oh, I'm trying to think up this year's Christmas card for Bob. What do you think of this one? A nice skating ghost. I like it. That's supposed to be a polar bear. Oh. <sighs> right, team, back to work. Hmm. If I were a Christmas elf, which I am, what would I do now? Um. Oh, I know. I'll decorate the tree. Leave the poor tree alone, Merc. I'll just need to find some shiny things to hang from it. Found some. Merc, what are you doing? Must be elf luck. I found a whole bucket full of decorations. That's a rubbish bin, Merc. Stand back. Elf at work. Merc, <laughs> stop. Uh-oh. I decorated the tree. Oh, Merc. Oh, Ugh. no. Oh, you should have asked me first, Muck. We have proper decorations for the tree right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lofty, help Muck remove all of this rubbish, please. I don't... But... Yes, Bob. Oh, I guess I'm not a tree decorating elf either. No, you're definitely not. But I am an elf. A something else elf. Um, I'm a... <gasps> Present delivering elf! Oh dear. I need to get these presents to the children of Spring City! But Ma! Elf! On a mission! Those are supposed to go under the tree! And they're empty! Come back! Stop! <sighs> Looks like a winter wind is on its way. We may have to add extra supports to keep our big ginger fella from tipping over. Muck, we'll need to go back to the yard. Where is he? Lofty? Mark! Present delivery! Come and get your presents! What? He thinks he's a Christmas elf! Whoa! Here you go, Mila. Big one for you, JJ! Cool! I think that one's a toy robot! <gasps> Wait! Look! Those aren't real presents, they're... <gasps> empty? Huh? They're all... Oh! I really wanted that robot. Elves are supposed to make Christmas special and children happy. But I've just made them miserable. Come on, Muck. We best get back to the site. I'm the worst elf ever. Mm -hmm. Where are Muck and Lofty? They've been gone for far too long. Lofty, where have you been? I'm sorry, Bob. I was trying to help make Christmas special by delivering presents. But I'm not a Christmas helper. No, you're definitely not. But I am your helper, Bob. Exactly. And what a great helper you are. If we're going to fix this house in time for the concert, I need your help right now to take me back to the yard and collect more supplies. Ooh, yes! Dashing through the snow like a one-horse open sleigh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a sleigh! Yeah! You're a big red sleigh! Hop on, Bob. Let's go. Jingling all the way. Hey!
la 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 and for you. Ah! That's brilliant! Look, Muck. Oh! <laughs> I'm a flying sleigh! And I'm Santa! <laughs> yes! When I saw you riding Muck back from the yard, I realised you and Santa have a lot in common. We do? Yeah! You're both hard-working, jolly fellas who wear snazzy hats and work magic in a very short amount of time. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! 